Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. The temporary ban on UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath and Union Minister Menika Gandhi has put the BJP in a catch-22 situation. The Election Commission has essentially banned both these leaders from campaigning for 72 hours and 48 hours respectively because of the hate speech that these people used in the election campaign. The Election Commission has said that not only did what they said violate the model code of conduct, but it also contaminated the election process. Of course, along with these two, SP leader Azam Khan and former UP Chief Minister and BSP leader Mayawati have also faced Election Commission's wrath. Well, why does it put the, the BJP in a catch-22 situation? Why does it put the BJP in this difficult, awkward spot where it needs to make a choice? We know that the party's strategy, besides talking about welfare, besides talking about national security and besides talking about its achievements, is also to make communally sensitive statements in order to polarize the votes, in order to charge its loyal cadre and its vote bank, in order to cater to its Hindutva majoritarian politics. To that effect, these statements made by Yogi Adityanath and Menika Gandhi also fit in that paradigm. Now the choice the BJP has to make is really to risk continue making such statements, hoping to make electoral and political gains or, uh, you know, sort of have to face the EC's wrath like they've done in this case. What it does to the party there, if, if the EC does crack down like it has now, is that it changes and alters the party's plans. It takes away precious time, three days of campaigning for Yogi Adityanath in a state like Uttar Pradesh, which we know BJP thinks is so crucial to its fortunes, is something that can potentially harm the party, at least in terms of the rallies that have been planned and having to figure out a way to work around it. Also, Menika Gandhi is a candidate herself, two days of campaigning lost, again, significant time lost for any candidate. Thus, the party is now trying to understand how to deal with this situation. It's not just these leaders, even party president Amit Shah often makes provocative statements as to other leaders. Uh, the party is not sure whether to now rein in its leaders and ask them to be more cautious and careful about what they say or to continue walking down this path, risk facing the EC's wrath, but continue their politics and continue the electoral strategy. Sources tell us that this is still an ongoing discussion in the party because the ban has been quite recent and they've not been able to quite arrive at a consensus as to what to do. But the next couple of days is when the party is likely to draw up its strategy and to be sure about how it wants to go forward and where it wants to draw the line in terms of what its pol political leaders say. Perhaps it, there could be a solution where the top leaders don't make statements which are as provocative, but the, the, the smaller leaders, maybe the grassroots workers, maybe the cadre uh, do that to prevent the EC crackdown on its important star campaigners. Well, do keep track of us on YouTube for much more. For The Print, this is Ruhi Tawari.